feel like I'm standing here for a uh, mugshot going to prison. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I wanna do is I wanna take the time and I wanna show you guys and explain to you a little about the um, COSANT chart. Now, uh, I have said a couple videos before about COSANT. Uh, I was actually corrected um, and uh, I used to say COSANT all the time and uh, Tony, I believe, actually corrected me and said it was COSINE which truthfully, we both were kind of right. Now, I have the Ugly's book, and uh, like I said, I haven't looked at this book for a long, long time because of the simple fact that uh, once you become an electrician, you kind of already know how to read the cosecant chart, cosecant chart, rather, that's how I really say it, uh, and how to use it. Now, when I was first shown how to bend conduit, uh, the journeyman that showed me was, like I said, excellent. He said it's the cosine chart. Now that's what I went with for years. I never thought about it. I'm one of those people who, once they get something in their head, they just run with it. So to me, it was cosine. But obviously it's cosecant, uh, and I'm gonna show you guys right here on my phone uh, what I'm talking about. So what I did, I took the liberty to uh, look on Google to see exactly how to say it, because I was saying cosine, but apparently even cosine is wrong. Now this is how you actually say it. Let me show you. So as you can see up in my screen, That is how you spell it. It's in the Ugly's book. I'm going to show you. And this is how you say it. Cosecant. Cosecant. So it's not the cosant. It's not the cosine. It's the cosecant. Now, there is a cosine uh, place in here, which, you know, I don't ever use that. Um, I'm sure there's a reason to use it. Uh, I don't really know what it's all about. All I know is the cosecant chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive in. Now, this is a 2011 Ugly's book. And uh, I feel pretty confident there's a new one, but so this is the last one that I actually purchased. And um, I'm just gonna show you and explain to you how to use this. There are really only a few bends, a few degrees that you really want to bend. Keep in mind, you know, um, you don't wanna put more than 360 degrees in a run of pipe. Now, my personal opinion has always been and always will be 270. Uh, another question I had was, how far do you run a, long, a length of pipe before you put a pull point junction box or what have you? Well, think about this. All right. You can, there depends on your application, but your fish tape is only going to be, I think the longest one I've seen is 240 feet. So, you know, we always try to go no more than 200 foot before you put a pull point. Even at that point, um, you know, those are really long runs. Like if you're like at a target or whatever, and you're going from one to the you know, like the back to the front, something like that. But, you know, you want to put the more pull points that you have, the better off you're going to be, even though it sucks to have to drive your lift back or your ladder, get up there, you know, push the fish tape there or what have you. But, you know, you got to think about what is going to be the easiest route for you. Now, having said all that, I'm getting all off topic here because um, I can just keep on going forever. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to put so many bends in by the time you get ready to pull the fish tape you know you've already got you know 360 degrees and you're screwed because you can't get the fish tape through so the bends that we like to use the most now there's i'm going to just brief you on just a few little things here on on the things but what i like to use uh very minimum is 15 degrees all right 30 degrees 45 and i have I can attest to this right here. I have never used a 60 degree, but a lot of people, I won't say a lot of people, some people have used it and you know, I, I always steer away from them. The main ones I always use is 15 and 30 usually. Uh, I have used 45s on occasions. Now, why would you use you know, different ones? So if you're gonna use 15 degrees, you're gonna have a longer span of bends. Obviously, the longer you have the space and the less degrees you have, will the fish tape will actually flow through a lot easier. That's why we try to go on 30s, you know, because it's a little easier. 45s is even more, you know, it's a little tighter, but, you know, it's, it's more compact, so you might need that to get into a spot. You know, you're just going to have to think about it. Let's just say you've been to a 10-inch offset, all right, and you want to do on 15s. Well, you got times it by four, so you're going to have a lot of space in between, you know, point A to point B before you do the next bend. So, you know, 
or 30 it would only be times 2 and 45s would be like 1.5 now there's actually not exactly 1.5 it's like 1.45 which we'll jump in here and I'll show you that in a second but you know so you're gonna have less and less space the tighter your bends go so just got to think about what's going to be in the way, what you got to go around, what you got to go under, so on and so forth. Who's going to be behind you? Is there going to be a plumber coming behind you? Is there going to be a sprinkler guy coming behind you? HVAC, whatever. Are you going to cut somebody off? You know, so you just need to think about that. You know, think about, don't think about right now. You need to think about right now plus who's coming behind you. Do you need to run another conduit back through here? Do you need to run a four inch, you know, piece of rigid? Who know? I, I don't know, you know. All right, guys. So on the 2011, um, Ugly's book. Now, like I said, this is the 2011 edition. On page 154, this is what you're going to look at. It says natural trigonometry functions. And first thing you got is angle, which is what I was telling you about. The 10, 15, 30, 45, so on and so forth. Then you have the cosine, tangent, contangent, or contingent, secant, and cosecant. All right? And then it, it goes to the other side. It goes up the 90s, but we're only going to be worrying about just a couple of what I showed you. Now, um, we're going to work right here with the 15 degrees. So what we'll need to do, because the angle is going to be 15, right? So what we have to do is we have to come to 15 and go all the way over to the 3.8637. Now, you round that up, okay? So you, you could times it by that, but, you know, unless you're wiring the Taj Mahal, a couple degrees, decimal points is not going to make heads or tails. So let's say, all right, let's say you have a four inch uh, offset that you need to get, all right? We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to put that on here. So what you'll have to do on the 15 degrees right here, you have to times it by four, all right? So four times four is 16. So what you have to do is like I told you in previous videos, if you've ever watched any of my bending videos, you'll have to come a little bit down on this pipe and we're going to start here at two inches. All right, that's where my arrow is going to be in my bender. All right, so we need to go 16 inches, right? All right, so we'll put it right here. Now that, and we'll bend that on 15 degrees, okay? So this real estate is what's all going to be taken up on a 15 degrees. So you can see what you have. By the time you bend this, you know, you're going to be this far back on the pipe. So you got to make sure that you have enough, you know, room you're not going to cut anybody off. You're not going to hurt yourself later on down the road by using 15 degree. And there's a lot of reasons why you use 15 degree. Like I told you, you know, you may have too many bends, you know, it doesn't, it may not even matter. So, all right. So that's 15 degrees. Now let's look at 30. So we'll come over here, flip the page 155. Now I don't know if the new Ugly's book is the same numbers or not, but we're going to go to 30 and we're going to select the same thing on the top all the way across. We'll go to 30 and we're going to, Come all the way across, and that's exactly two. I don't know if I can actually get this in here, but I'm going to take pictures and I'll add all these in here. All right, so 30 degrees. We're going to do the same four inch offset. All right, so we know that this right here, we're going to label this one right here at 15 degrees. All right, we're going to leave our same two, so right here, I put 15 degrees. We're going to leave our same two inch mark here, and we're going to put this, so four times two is eight. All right, we're going to mark it right here. So, and this is going to be 30. Now, this is where your bend is going to be now. Okay, so you do you see what I'm talking about? How your multipliers will actually shrink your pipe a whole lot. Now, good thing is, uh, on ENT bender, since that's what we're working with, I'm not going to bend anything, but <clears throat> uh, the closer you go, the more, uh, the tighter you get, uh, rather the higher the angle, the closer you'll be. So we label this 30 degrees, the same four inch offset. So you see what I'm talking about right here? So here to here is 30 degrees. From here to here is 15. So you see the difference, all right? Let's go to 45. All right, so let's check 45 now. So 45 will come all the way over. It's 1.41. Hi, guys. So right. this is a little update to this video because uh, when I was 
uh, editing, I noticed that, first of all, there was absolutely no noise coming from my microphone. Uh, secondly, the video was really weird. I was doing it in 4K, trying to, and apparently when I hit pause to go to the next scene, obviously something screwed up. So here it is. Here's the 45 um, degree bends, uh, and obviously different day. And I have many questions about this. Am I in the IBW? Yes, I am. I'm very proud. So without further ado, let's jump right into the 45 degree bends so you guys can see exactly how to do it. All right, if we times it at 1.4 times four, because that's our offset, it'll be 5.6. Now, uh, you can't put 5.6 literally on this pipe. I mean, you have to change it over to a, you know, a, a number you can actually use. Well, we know that 5.5 is five inches and a half. So five and a half inches. So 5.6 is gonna be somewhere between 9 sixteenths and 5 eighths or 10 sixteenths if you want to say it like that. So I'm gonna err on the latter part of that and I'm going to put it at five and nine sixteenths, which would be right here. And that'll put our 45 degree bend right here. Now guys, you can see, obviously throughout the video, you'll understand what the 60 part is and all that. But right now you can see that the closer we're going to the beginning of this pipe, the steeper the angle, 15, 30, 45, the less uh, real estate we have right through here. So you see 45 here. Now we'll go on to the video and I'll show you obviously the rest of the 60 part and all that jazz. So now it is true. I could have done a voiceover. Uh, I decided not to. I'm not a big, huge fan of voiceovers at all. Get this camera a little straight here. Yeah. Uh, so I prefer to be one-on-one -on -one with you guys. So that's why I redid this little part. So on to the next part of the video. And if you were to do 60, now, even though I'm not going to do 60, when you use this Ugly's book, just in case you're wondering how to figure out, because if you read down here, it tells you how to go uh, and use, you know, different, basically past 45. So when you go to 45, you'll go to 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So when you go to 60, which I don't recommend doing, you can do it. I have never, like I said, ever done that. But when you go to 60, it's 1.1547. So I would just do 1.2 if it was me. So let's see what that is. All right, when you're doing on a 60, what you're gonna have is right at about 4.8 if you times it by 1.2. Now, how much is that? It's, if I was gonna do this, I would probably honestly put it right at about four and three quarters, close enough for me, right? So we're gonna do that right about here. This will be your 60. Now you see, the steeper the angle, the closer we're getting. So you can see the big jump between here, between 15 and 30. Okay, so this is really easy to use, guys. Like I said, you know, you just gotta think about it. Now what is your application? You know, usually if you're a helper or apprentice, whatever, you know, you're gonna be, somebody's gonna be telling you what to bend it on. Now, when you get a little bit better, like when I was getting, I caught on really quick. Uh, plus I had a really good teacher and I didn't even need to, you know, he didn't have to say, Hey, bend it on 30. Hey, bend it on this. But sometimes he did just depending because he was up there. I wasn't a lot of times I could visually look up in the ceiling or on the wall and I could see what we needed. And I would look at the print and I would say, okay, well, you know, this might be a duck line coming through here eventually. So I need to make sure I keep, you know, that in my mind so I don't, screw myself or anybody else because nothing is worse than coming back to the job and your conduit is cut in half let me tell you right now when that happened um it wasn't good for the other person because i had an attitude back in the day and i made sure that people knew how pissed off i was when that happened so you really don't want that to happen so just to alleviate the problem try to look at the print you know, uh, if you have a good journeyman, especially, you don't have to worry about it like I did. But I still wanted to know a little bit more and a little bit more. So that's why I just visually tried to look at the print myself and, you know, thought about it all. All right, that's easy, peasy. The co is super, super easy. So guys, if you have any other ideas for any kind of electrical videos uh, that you want to see, whether it be on conduit, and I have a lot of other conduit videos that will be coming out soon. So you definitely want to like this video, obviously. You want to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell button because that way it will show you 
uh, anytime I upload a video, especially electrical, because my channel is just all over the place. So, but uh, yeah, I'm really focusing more on electrical right now. Um, you know, I like to do a whole lot of more stuff uh, as the spring warms up. Now I'm out here in shorts, I'm not gonna show you, but because I don't want no jokes. Anyway, so, all right guys, if you like what you see here, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day, God bless.